Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Uh, happy to be back painting again after a few days off. How are you? Happy uh, Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Uh, let me show you the results from the last two videos and then uh, let's experiment night with uh, high flow fluid acrylics. Like uh, this stuff, the runny stuff. Kind of excited and nervous about that. Um, big guy from two videos ago, 18 by 24 this one it dried great looking good do my Vanna white <laughs> uh, pretty cells I'm gonna start doing less cells though I'm kind of agreeing with people I don't know I feel like cells are becoming uh, passe or they're not in vogue right now in vogue is anything you know pearly or cloudy or and I have very mixed feelings about those which I'm not gonna go into tonight but uh, there's that guy. Pretty happy with him. Just hanging out. You know, that guy is nice. But then when you have a really good one, let me put the summer safe. When you have a really great one, you know, then you feel bad for the ones that are good. Because then you have a great one. And that's this one. This is from the last video. It dried in less than 24 hours. That's the uh, beauty of using... A straight pouring medium they dry lickety split it's this one here uh, super super thrilled with it um, it's all glossy it's gonna hang out I won't resin this one it's on a big canvas um, and I don't it looks kind of soft to me so I don't want it to look plasticky um, so it might just get like a um, I'm thinking of doing just a semi matte varnish on this guy and leaving it be and then I'm looking for a really thick um, floater frame for it uh, the one thing I did I'll get you up close let's see there's the cells sorry for the glare the shine um, all the cells here and particularly the gold cells they look raised so it really truly does look like they're floating on top of the paint uh, yeah just it's gorgeous the one thing I could kick myself for doing was uh, if, if you watch the video I torched the sides thinking that the little cells would hold and they did not they kind of ran down and I hate it I hate it so what I'm gonna do is use my painters tape put it on top and I'm probably gonna leave like a little lip and then paint this probably gold I'm thinking gold or a pale pale pink um, and clean that up because I don't like the sides like that. It's just too thick of a canvas, the two inches. Like, see where I didn't have cells? I should have left it like that, right? What are you gonna do? Lessons learned. But, you know, totally fixable, so, yeah. I'm like, yeah. This one won't be sold for a little bit. It will, it's gonna um, go in a show. I will sell it, but um, I won't be able to till later in the fall because it's going to go in a show, so there's that guy. And then uh, let me get you down and show you what we're going to do tonight. Fun, fun, fun with fluid acrylics. I'll have to make that the title of this uh, video. So I'm going I'm experimenting. All of this is just fluid acrylics with my golden uh, color pouring medium and gloss again so no other pouring medium no silicone no water no nothing uh, colors I'm using for this are um, Golden's titanium white I have Vallejo this is their cowboy cowboy <laughs> cobalt turquoise which I mixed with Golden's cobalt turquoise and I don't know if you can see that on the label but this one's much more blue and this one's green I combined them um, to get more of this shade because I'm out of it and I have some golden this cronacridone magenta this is carbon black it's this one I have some iridescent gold fine and I have some phthalo blue green shade so those are the colors and the brands. And I have this 12 by 12 that uh, 
I've been experimenting on um, that I scraped. I played around last night. I didn't film it. And then I um, made a mess, had a lot of fun, like a pig in mud, and then scraped it and thought I would film tonight. I made all these colors um, for two separate pours. And what I'm going to do is just a straight pour first using the teal, the magenta, um, the black, and the white. And I'm going to save or put aside the blue and the gold for, I have three of these 4x12s, which would make a 12 by 12 that we're going to play with after this one, um, where I'm going to add a drop or two of silicone because I want you guys to see the awfulness that happens when you add silicone to this stuff. I hated it. Um, I, I looked high and low on YouTube for somebody's channel, um, you know, anybody that had, uh, you know, a series of paintings using the high flow fil um, fluid acrylics with straight pouring medium. And I found like random ones. I found one lady who had a pretty painting, but she had dish soap in it or somebody else had other um, other things added to their pouring medium. I couldn't find any information. The only information you, I really came across was from the Golden website um, and their YouTube channel. But no artists out there that, if you know of one, please let me know because I wanted to learn before I jumped, you know, jumped in with two feet and uh, hardly any information. What I did discover last night was I tried a puddle pour and then um, tried to ninja swipe it, hot mess, didn't like it, terrible. Tried another puddle pour um, and did my um, flip and lip and made a pattern. That was awful, scrape that. And then I did a pour where I layered the colors in my cup, kind of like how you would make a um, tree ring pour and then just poured and that worked out really well. I couldn't do a flip and lip because it spread so fine that the little, like you can see here, the little lines, it's so, it's so fluid that everything spread so fast and I was left with, the, with these wide bands of solid color and they didn't intermingle and, um, enough for my liking. So that got scraped. But I'm gonna try again, just layering the colors into a cup and then pouring it on and just get a pretty composition. And that's about it. And then the second set, we will add a drop of silicone because I'll probably scrape it and that's okay. But so you guys can see what the cells look like, um, how the material reacts to it um, and see what kind of results we get with that. So let's just get started. So I'm just gonna start layering colors and I'm not gonna start with white first. One thing I did notice is, um, oh, I didn't talk about uh, ratios. Um, so if you read the side of this particular pouring medium, it's one, pour, one part golden um, acrylic color to, um, what's it say, 10 parts pouring medium. Well, so that basically means, you know, 10 ounces of pouring medium to one ounce of color. And I'm like, that's a lot of pouring medium and I just don't need that much for this project. So basically what I did y'all was squirts. I would just take this, let me make sure it's closed, squirt some in, add pouring medium, and then just kept adding drops until it matched the color. Because it looks faded if there's too much uh, pouring medium and not enough um, fluid acrylic and that's how I determined I figured that was the easiest way um, I overdid it with the teal well this one I want to use it for both paintings so that's why there's more of the teal but um, that's how I ended up with what is this three teaspoons that's it so uh, that's all I can tell you you do need to mix it you would think it's so fluid that you stir it in your pouring medium or your flow troll, whatever you decide to try, if you decide to try these, when you mix it up really well, it you know, it turns clear, it turns color, they, it disappears really fast. But what I found is you really gotta mix it well because I kept getting 
I mean smaller than the head of a pin, these little tiny knits of, I think they were dried paint, and because it is so fluid, the little knits would sit and leave little rivulets, undesirable rivulets, all throughout my um, art. And I was not happy about that, so I really, really gave these um, a good mix tonight. That kind of surprised me last night. So those are all my lessons learned from last night. Um, the other lesson learned is all things being equal, since it is just the fluid acrylic to the pouring medium, is you can really see which paints are dense, denser than other paints. So when I was layering my colors in my cup, I know I'm talking a lot, nothing's happening, but it's important information that the white really did sink immediately, and I hope to be able to show you that uh, in the cup. So without any further ado, here I go. So I'm just gonna layer these colors. And I always like my turquoise with black. And I like the idea of kind of like the black and white series because you get the different variations in colors. So I'm gonna get a darker blue and almost a purpley color by, by sandwiching black in between these two. And then if I add my white and do the same thing, I'll get paler shades of blue and pink. So that kind of comes in handy in that regard. And for a 12 by 12, there goes the, um, the white is sinking as I speak. You can watch it go. Um, you only need about a half a cup of paint. This is a nine ounce, so four and a half ounces for this 12 by 12. And then maybe I'll put black and white on top of each other, get some gray. And then just a couple more, there goes the white sinking immediately. And then the blue, the blue really disappears fast. And then another dollop of pink. That should be plenty of paint. And I'm just gonna pour this on and uh, we'll see what happens. If I get white, I kind of want it on the outside. And look at it go. We really don't have to worry about corners and things. There's plenty of paint. Um, I'm just gonna roll it this way to hope to get it to stop because it goes so fast. Got a whole bunch of density cells right here, um, which always looks cool when they first come out but um, you tend to lose them right away. They just don't hold cells. This is, does not hold cells at all. Pretty though, pretty colors. I'm just gonna squish them around. I wish I had more gray. I can not take my lip if I want. And like maybe this solid thing, band of turquoise here. Just gently mess with it, see what's under there. A little bit of black. And then, uh, yeah, now you just get to play. Oh, my uh, cookie cutter stuck to the tape, there we go. And the fun thing is you can really swirl it around a lot, a lot, a lot before it loses, before anything goes muddy. The colors will blend um, without hesitation. And see where I got my dark violet, like I said, just by how, you know, thinking, um, having some mindfulness with the, um, the layering and knowing what colors they're gonna make. Uh, sorry if you can't see for a second. I'm just gonna move things around, try to balance things out. And just have a really pretty little painting, little abstract painting. And swirl things, I've got a corner to worry about. Just swirl it around. Mm 
this will be dry probably, I don't know, two hours or so too. I'm getting some more density cells um, from the turquoise. I'm gonna stop a second. I love this a lot. I'm not happy with this up here. Um, so here's what's kind of great is you can really play with this. So I'm going to take, I'm going to wipe off my hands. I'm going to add some, a little bit of white to this. Wipe off my gloves. And I might just take some white in here, like that. Mm, I might do that twice, a little more. Have it blend in, maybe a little bit up here or something. Wipe that off. Yep, like that. And I might add uh, add a little bit of bright pink down here. Like that. Wipe that off. I'm not happy about the density cells in this one. I don't like that. I want it just plain, plain. I don't want any cells. It's like I can't escape them. I really can't. Now here, after just sitting, you can see where it's slowing down. That's how fast this stuff sets up. It sets up super quick. And see, it's not running anymore. And there's plenty of paint on there. So it's running a little bit on the side where my white was. I'm gonna take a little bit of that off if I can. A little more, there we go. And then bring that back and watch everything blend in. And gosh, that's pretty. I like the orientation. This is the top and that's the bottom. And that's like it. That's basically all you do. Um, I'm gonna stare at it for a second. You know me, see how happy I am uh, with it, because ultimately I'm the one that has to be happy with it. See if I like it. I was messing around with leftover paint the other night and made this really cool Halloween pour. You can see it in the um, in the notification comment section on YouTube. Um, a gray painting with some purple and black. And I did it and I'm like, oh, this is stupid. And I scraped it and then I went back and looked at the pictures. I'm like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. That's kind of pretty. I'm just gonna let it sit to the side. I'm not sure I'm 100% happy with it. Um, but let's move on to the next experiment. Get my gloves off. And let me just, I have all my, all my little paints out. I'm just gonna slide them over. Move my lemonade. I have a couple more cookie cutters. And we are just going to put him, let me sit him here. We'll use these three. One, two, three. Oh wait, I'll keep him. I have another star. Cookie cutter. I'm gonna set him up there. I don't even know if he's in your view anymore. Be good if he's not. And then we're going to take Let's just start with one. I don't, I don't want to have to scrape all three. So here's the first one of my four by 12, and I'm probably gonna to have to, whatever 
want to put silicone in, I'm going to have to uh, mix up another batch because I don't want silicone really in any of these. So I'm going to put silicone in the turquoise. I only have a little bit left. So I'm going to take my spot on and add two drops and give that a mix. And what else am I low on? Kind of low on the um, the magenta. So let's give that one a big drop too. That's it. So there's our three drops of silicone. Take another cup. And we are going to layer, let's layer my black. We'll do this. Oops. Magenta. And the white. I can't get over how much the other one is selling up. <laughs> Unreal. A little more black. And kill off the teal. And do I need more? That should be plenty, but I'm going to add just a dollop of white. All right. Let's just pour this on. The magenta. Where's my magenta container? Transparent, floating on top. Cobalt turquoise, semi-transparent underneath it all. You know the white has sunk to the bottom and the cobalt black also opaque. So that's pretty much the order of my cups. It really didn't matter how I layered them. The transparent stuff is right on top. The rest is underneath. And where is my turquoise? That's a fun little pattern. But I'm going to insist on some turquoise. Totally insist. I insist. There we go. Plenty of paint. I think I'm going to redo that um, 12 by 12. And I'm going to use all opaque colors. I don't like the cells on this at all. I love the colors though. That's the thing, thing with these is the colors are spectacular. They're just so bright and vivid and amazing. So now this is just playing with composition because it's a little guy. But we're gonna just swirl it around, get coverage, and we're gonna give it a torch. And I'll show you what happens. And it better not make a liar out of me tonight. <laughs> All right. That, let me come down this way a little bit off the one corner. Look at me being all picky when I'm just going to torch it up and ruin it. Oh, all right. So there it is. Should I get you guys down a little lower so you can see? I'm going to try and lower my stand because I want you to see, um, I want you to see these cells. Because I found it really interesting. I'm going to wipe off my hands. Isn't that pretty though? So, so pretty, so dramatic. Love it, love it. All right, let me just lower my stand. Just like that. Get you guys a little closer. So watch, watch, watch the cells when I torch. Ready? Wham! So reactive and not in a good way, at least not to me. Like it just totally 
totally takes over. And the cells, hopefully I have a couple good examples. Let's just do the whole thing. Uh, so you can't even, you can't even see my design anymore. You can't see the background really. It's just too much, too much. But I wanted to show you if I can get this up close is that it, well, it does make the classic golden cells, which are cells that usually um, are paired, they're twinsies, they are kidney shaped, um, they have rings of rings, which is always a nice thing if you like cells, and that usually has like a little inner circle like this guy does. But when I look at it, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it to you up close, it goes all the way down to the canvas. And now this is wood, and the, these big guys here, I'm afraid that if, you know, if I decided, oh, I love all the cells, I'm afraid when this dries, you're gonna be able to see um, bare canvas. And it's not like you can pour white down because it's fluid. Um, let's see if you can see that up close, like those bigger cells, like these, the big black ones. I don't know if you can tell, but that is definitely indented. I will say that the ones next to them, the multicolored cells are kind of pretty. But there's, um, if you like that, that and you just want cells, this might be um, not a bad painting for you. I, to me, I like to, for me personally, personal preference, I like to better plain. I think high flow fluids just look better um, in cool patterns and designs and blending of colors without cells. But that's what it does when you use silicone. Um, and if you go to move it now, you really can't because it'll, the cells, they're like, yeah, bye. We're not, they don't, they won't hold their shape at all. So if you want to keep their shape, you have to torch last um, and then just leave it. So if I wanted to keep this, I would have to stop no matter what, like, and say I wanted to keep this. If I were to keep this, I'd be like, I'm okay with this. These are pretty nice. It's got the magenta running in the background. This is a teal and the magenta in the background. This down here, I would hate, and I would want to pour that off. I would want to get rid of some of this stuff up here because it's just not attractive. And if I would try to do that, you can't. This is what happens. It just, it runs into a hot mess. You just you just can't do anything with it. So that that was the uh, lesson learned. So hopefully I can pass that on to you guys. Um, so you know if you do want cells, torch with that torch way way up high. Um, let me just see some. See look look at them. Because it's so thin. Just do that, the cells will just grow. Now, if I, you have to torch up really high, you want barely any heat on them. Maybe not that high, Karen. Uh, because, boing, look at that. It just, the whole thing just explodes. So, yeah. That was that lesson learned. All right, so let me go ahead Give this a good scrape. I might take my old paper towel and kind of wipe it off because I don't want the silicone on it. I won't be torching. All right. And I'm going to take, I need to make up a little bit of white. And I have my blue. I have my gold. I'm gonna do white and pink. And pink. Oh, there's, well, there's like a half, well, I don't know how much silicone is left in here. I'm gonna have to risk it. Since I won't be torching, hopefully it'll be okay. So here's how I do it. I do pouring medium first. Well, you're not going to be able to tell with the white. 
at least hopefully with the pink. And I'm gonna put in my three, there's like my three tablespoons right there. And I'm just gonna take my magenta, give it a good shake. And I just squirt it in, it helps if you open it. <laughs> Uh, and you just add your color. And you guys see that? And I'm just gonna add the color. And see how it's white from the pouring medium? I'm just gonna keep mixing, give this a really good mix. Oh, Karen, you're such a goober. Did you see what I just did, y'all? <laughs> that was my white paint. <laughs> that was my titanium white that I just made into this light pink. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, so let me do this. Let me grab, um, let me just rinse out this and make some white and I'll keep this. So there you can see, there's like a light pink. I'm not gonna, oh, I can rinse out this one here. Let's do this. I can add a little bit more because it's too light, obviously. And I did three tablespoons and I didn't mean to make that much magenta. And now it'll get darker. And since there's so much pouring medium to the paint, I'm gonna, and it has the white, it's not gonna go that bright of a pink. It's not gonna turn into magenta because it has three tablespoons of white added. That was such a goober thing to do. All right, we're gonna roll with it though. We'll go with our light pink. Our blue, I just need to make up some white. I'm just gonna rinse this out and I'll make some white. All right. Let's try that again. Let me dry the inside out. My paper towel. All right, let's try that again. That was hilarious. Classic Karen move. All right, so pouring medium. That's plenty. That is, how much is that? Two and a half tablespoons. So there's two and a half tablespoons. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see because it's white, damn it. Sorry guys, I totally botched that. You get the general idea though, right? So you just squirt in your color until you get um, the shade you want. Pretty much, that's it. It doesn't take a lot. This stuff is super concentrated, a little goes a long way. And now I just need a stick. So let's try these. There we go. All right. Take a cup. Let's layer these. Not exactly quite the color combo I wanted, but that's okay. Make myself some room. And a little bit of black too, just like a dollop I might add to both of these. Um, and let's do, well, the good news is I don't have to worry about the silicone now because I just got rid of it. Let's do the white, do the blue, do the gold. My new favorite thing, the little, um, salad dressing containers you get when you order takeout. They come with lids. They're awesome. That's a pretty shade of pink. We'll go with that. A little bit more blue. Plenty of pink for this guy. All right, let's see what we get. Number one. Losing my pink. 
hard on this narrow one, right? So let me bring this down. Plenty, plenty of paint, plenty of, to roll around. Oh, I love the balance of colors so far. And bring it down, wiggle it, play with it. What do I like, what do I don't like? That's pretty fun. Fun little guy, no cells. And what, I, what I really like is you can go really close to the end and then bring it back and it'll merge colors. Like that part's super, super fun. I don't like that right there, so off that goes. Hopefully, off you go. Bring it back all the way off and then bring it all back. So you can really, really play with your composition. That's the fun part. That's where these are truly, truly a lot, a lot of fun. And that's it. There's one, that's happy little guy. We'll do three of these. They don't have to match exactly as long as they're the same color palette. Take another one. Number two. I'm gonna use that same cup because it has blue at the bottom, blue and white. And let's go blue first again, just a little. A little bit of white. A little bit of gold. And my pink. Let's get more pink. That should be plenty. That's like barely a quarter of a cup. Oh, there's the gold. Oh, did I sell my short self short on paint? Let me see. See, I love that you can make patterns like this. And had I um, used more paint, you could just make your pattern the way you want and then stop without really having to um, move it around. You don't really have to pour it off. It'll dry. What did it say? It'll dry up to one sixteenth of an inch thick. So you can leave it like this if you want and be done. How cool is that? I like this much better than this, but we're just playing tonight. So like I'm not out to uh, make a masterpiece or anything. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've learned. Bring this all down here. Come on down. Come on over. Oh gosh, this one's so, so pretty. This one's way prettier. What did I do different? Oh, more pink. I did more pink. And take some of the busy stuff off the bottom. Bring it back up. You do have to watch for like wiggly things on the um, ends. Let me get some of that blue back. I love that, just like that. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Makes me want to redo this one, right? Yeah? Yeah. Totally. We're in play mode, so. I think I wrote a comment to somebody the other day, like I'm not in the habit of wasting paint, but sometimes, you know, you're not gonna learn, especially this, because like I said, you know, I've never really have done this before. This is definitely, you're not gonna learn anything unless you're willing to waste a little bit of paint. So I kind of feel like I don't have a choice. Let's do that again. So we put in blue, then what did I do? The white. The pink, no, the gold, the blue, the white, the gold, and then a whole boatload of pink. I think that's what I did. And that's gonna kill off the pink too. So I'm not gonna get to the third one. This video is probably getting quite long as it is. So we'll stop after this guy. And uh, Check in on the other one that's all sewed up and I can tell you right now, I will be pouring over it. This one, I'm, that's a keeper though. That guy's a total keeper. All right, here we go again. 
Same deal. Wish I had more gold already. That's probably too much gold. Any more? A little bit of pink left? A little bit of pink left. Alright, let me slide this guy out of my way. I'm going to trust myself. You go sit over there. And let's take this guy. Um, Turn them off real quick there. That's gorgeous up there though, so I'm gonna keep that. Get off that end. And then bring this down. Gosh, it's pretty. This one has a little more gold. And the other one has a little more pink. But they go well enough. And try and keep some of the paint, let it run down. And then you can just swish it all over and watch it mix without getting muddy. It's a thing of beauty, y'all. Totally a thing of beauty. I'll take it off the bottom. Get rid of my little bikini. <gasps> That's pretty too. Let me just come up a little. Bring things up a little. Oh my gosh. So, are they centered? Can you see both of them? There's two right there. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna do the third off camera, just, you know, cause I feel like that's, uh, that's everything I know so far about golden fluid acrylics. Um, I'll do the third one off camera. Let me get you down. Uh, show you the first one, how it's sewed up. And that was definitely a case of mixing the transparent paints with the opaque paints. So the opaques, the the black and the white sunk, and that transparent um, cobalt turquoise and the transparent cornacridone magenta, they rose right up and where the two met, it created cells. So let me show you that, get you down. These guys are so bright and happy. Oh my goodness. So here's these two. And it's, like I said, these will be dry um, in a couple hours. And they'll dry uh, really kind of glossy too. Because the pouring medium's glossy. And you can see like all that swishing around, the colors, they just hold. They blend without getting muddy. And they're just super, Super pretty, particularly to have the gold and the pink there blending into each other. And I like how it keeps some hard lines too. Yep, I'll be doing those in uh, other color combinations. And then over here, I'm definitely gonna redo this guy because I don't, I didn't want cells. And there's all my density cells with the colors on the 12 by 12. But as far as the colors go and holding colors, amazing, just amazing. So, okay, 45 minutes. Yeah, I had a lot, of, a lot to tell you about. So that's uh, my experiments. Um, I hope you found it useful. I did, I learned a lot over the last couple of days with these things and um, hope to have a couple more videos up as I learn and go um, to share the knowledge, uh, save you guys a little bit of pain hopefully and um, get some pretty paintings. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care y'all. Bye-bye.